Good day, panelists. I am Ayla Marie Isabel, a senior high teacher at Pagana from Lubang National High School, Buena Vista District. So this is my teaching demonstration. Before that, here is my lesson plan. So my subject is oral communication. Thank you. So please allow me to start. Good morning, students. How are you today? Okay, I can say that every one of you is very happy. So I want you to stand and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. So before you take your seats, I want you to fit all the pieces of paper and trashes under your chair and throw it in a trash bin. Then before you go back, please arrange your chairs. Okay, so take your seats. So let's have an attendance. Okay, everyone of you is present today. So let's give a round of applause to everyone. Okay, so now before we start, let's recall our rules. So what are health protocols that we have in our school? So first, we need to wear face mask. Face mask. Then, always put alcohol. Okay. And keep social distancing. And in our classroom rules, what, what are our classroom rules class? Okay, first thing to do is listen to the teacher. The second one, do not talk when the teacher is talking. Third is, raise your hand if you want to answer. Very good. So now, I want you to get your assignment notebook and let us check it. Okay, every one of you got perfect. Let's give a round of applause. So now, let's have a review, a recap of our um, lesson last meeting. We talked about, oh yes, John. Okay, we talked about communication. Specifically, we talked about elements of communication. Okay, so what are the examples of elements of communication? Joanna. Oh yes, we have the speaker. What about Anna? We have the message. Uh, what about Jacqueline? Uh, we have the feedback, the channel, the barrier, and the feedback. Okay, so now we are done with the topic elements of communication. So now I will, we will have an activity. Now, I will group you into five. Row one is group one, row two is group two, and so forth. So I have here a picture. And what are you going to do is, you are going to describe the picture. I will only give you two minutes, uh, five minutes to do that, to brainstorm with your group. So, here's the picture. One, two, three, group one is one, then two, group two, three, and so forth. Okay, so now time is, time is up. You present your description. Okay. Let's give a round of applause to everyone. You have a very comprehensive description of the picture. So now, I have a question for you. So based from the picture, what, do you, what can you describe about the picture? What can you say about the overall picture? Oh yes, Shella. Okay, very good, Shella. So based from the picture, Shella saw that the pictures show communication. Okay, very good, Shella. Another question. How many people are involved in the pictures in image one to five? Uh, what about Jolai? Okay, very good. So in um, image one, you have one, then two, and two, then three, and six, and then so forth. Okay, last question. How does communication takes place in the images. Oh uh, yes, Rosa? Very good, Rosa. Very intelligent. So, as you can see, that in images 1, 2, 3, and 4, the speaker send the message or communicate face to face. However, in picture number 5, they, um, they use a technology. So now, what do you call in oral communication terms that talks about the environment in which the communication takes place? Or how does the message take place? Okay, I will give you a clue class. It has two words. Okay, but here. Jacqueline! Yes, I hear you say something. You said that? Okay, very good. Let's give a hand to Jacqueline class. So our topic, um, ours, um, the 
the word that talks about the environment, how the message takes place, or how does the mis uh, the how does communication takes place is speech context. So this morning we are going to talk about speech context, specifically the types of speech context. So before that, let's have uh, let's familiarize our goal we have here. So at the end of the lesson, you students should be able to analyze the different types of speech context, demonstrate the different speech context through a role play. Do you like um, dramatization or role play? Yes, thank you. Uh, I gl I'm glad that you like it. The next, you should show willingness to communicate in a different speech context. So, so. so now let's discuss what is speech context. So class, speech context is, the, is about the environment where communication happens and how the message is relayed during the process. So it is classified into different types. So we have here types of speech, uh, speech context. We have inter, intrapersonal and interpersonal. So interpersonal, it has uh, categories. We have the diet, small group, Public, public and mass communication. So, in order for us to familiarize, familiarize these different types of communication, a speech context, I mean, let's define this. So, first is intrapersonal, the communication that centers in one person where speaker acts as the speaker and the receiver. So, from the word intra, it means within, then person, it's you, us, we, intrapersonal. So the communication takes place within ourselves, within yourself. Be able to get that. The example for that is you are talking to yourself in a mirror. So as you can see, the example there, the image. So the guy is talking to himself. Okay, so let us just assume that uh, I'm done discussing with my um, lesson. Okay. So plus, to sum it up, speech, uh, speech context re refers to the environment, how the message is being takes place. And it describes how the message is um, delivered in a certain situation. So now, is there any question? Okay, very good. So now, let's... Um, let us measure if you really understand my discussion. So we will have an activity. So now, do you like to have a role play? Oh yes. Okay. So let's have the group. I will group you again, and then the same group as uh, as, the, as what we did in the first activity. So I will give you the context. Group one, then five. Group one is like that. Just read this. Then role play. Here is the rubric. So are you going to? This is this will be your guide for you to be uh, aware. How are you graded in this activity? Okay, let's give a hand to everyone since you were able to do, you were able to perform the task very well, very um, amazing. Let's give a round of applause to everyone. Okay, so now I will assess, I will evaluate if you really understand our topic. But this time it is individual. Okay, you answer this. So identify the type of speech context. Then I give you the example there. Okay. So are you done? Please exchange your paper and we will um, correct your answer. And we will check your answers. Okay. So who got perfect? Oh my God, everyone got perfect. You did great. Give a round of applause again. Thank you. You really listened to me. So I have a question. So. I have a question. Were we able to do the objective? Were we able to achieve the objective that we had um, um, we had set at the beginning of our lesson? Yes, very good. We were able to, you were able to first analyze the different speech context. Then next, we were able to demonstrate the different speech context through a role play as what you did a while ago. Then were you able to show willingness to communicate in a different speech context? Yes, through a role play, you were able to go speech to communicate. Okay, very good. Let's give a round of applause to everyone. So now, before we 
will enter class, let's have an assignment. So you read the instruction and I give you the criteria. Okay, you read the criteria. That's all. Thank you for listening and have a great day ahead. God bless students.